Today we'll have eight games. This is the seventh one at the moment. We've got one more to go. And yesterday we had nine games. We have uh, quite a large number of Indigenous players um, and they're pretty much scattered through most clubs that play in our competition. I'm the Executive Officer of our league. We look, as I said, look after the from under sixes through to the seniors. We have a staff of three. We look after everything to do with the local competitions um, from where to go and our rep program in our seniors as well. One, two, three, Dragons! Valley Dragons have had probably the most teams in the grand finals. Um, I wouldn't say they're necessarily dominating, but in the older age groups they're doing quite well. Yeah. Our second biggest club, Gungarland Bulls, is pretty well represented as well. And there seems to have been a large number of south side of Canberra teams playing today as well. I played with Valley Dragons um, and went through and uh, in, enjoyed it and yeah, can't play anymore so decided to take on coaching uh, about five years ago and have always coached with the Valley Dragons under 16s or under 15s um, and yeah just decided to give them a call one day and, and uh, volunteer and went from there and yeah, it's, it's been very enjoyable, it's very rewarding. And they started out as South Woden um, and just progressed into uh, moving into the Valley, um, biggest club in Canberra, um, yeah, basically a um, a club for, for young kids and, and also for up to under 16. So, you know, some kids I think started at five years old. So, you know, but yeah, very good club, uh, great community to be, be involved in. Well, I'm playing 5 8 for the team at the moment, under 16, Div 1. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a challenge this year, definitely. Uh, playing along with the boys, of, uh, coaches have definitely taught me a lot, but uh, yeah, it's been a good year so far, definitely. I'd like to go as far as I possibly can for sure. Um, hopefully play for a first grade club one day. Just the team spirit, I love getting getting dirty in there, bloody, just love playing footy, mate, that's all. We've got the grand finals for our uh, international age groups from under 13s through to under 16s. Yesterday we had our mod age groups played, under 10s to under 12s. And uh, this is about the fifth time we've played our grand finals at the Canberra Stadium, which all the kids love to do. And it's a very successful day. You know, end of, end of season, it's pretty um, pretty important. They, they look forward to this type of stuff, get to play at the you know, Canberra Stadium and, and get changed where the, the NRL players do. And, you know, it's it's a big event for them. Um, you know, I think uh, the, the kids just enjoy it so much that, that yeah, like I said, it's something they really look forward to. Well, Canberra Region Junior Rugby League is responsible for all of the local rugby league from under sixes through to the seniors. And we organise the day. The ACT government have been very generous in allowing us to use the stadium. Um, the stadium staff help us set up and everything. And then we have a really hard working committee that looks after um, the games, the running of the day, and, um, and each club lends a hand with uh, getting their teams ready and getting um, everybody where they need to be in time. Our chairman is Noel Bissett. He's a, an ex NRL level referee. He's very hard working, he's very supportive of the office staff and he's very keen to um, have our competition reflect in a very good light in amongst the community and he works very hard um, and apart from him there's uh, too many committee members to mention but we have a um, very strong subcommittee in the junior competition with representatives from almost all of the junior clubs and they work very hard to ensure that any problems are handled quickly and they're the ones who have done most of the work for today and yesterday. We are as is rugby league competitions throughout Australia enforce them very strongly. The code of conduct which has been developed by the ARL, it's gone a long way to ensuring that people are aware of the type of behaviour that's expected from them, um, for spectators, coaches and players and it has assisted us to get the message out that um, the type of behaviour that's not acceptable and won't be tolerated at the games and it's been very successful and I think the number of problems that we're having in those areas, behaviour problems, has decreased dramatically over the last couple of years. Leadership players, Darren Lockyer, uh, Alan Tung, players like that, uh, they, they, I think they set a good example to not just me but the NRL and other, other like, players as well that play alongside them. Uh, they just show good leadership skills that I'd like to live up to one day, definitely. Dragons! Play for the Dragons!